Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to recover Microsoft Authenticator app without old phone. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you recover your account here from Microsoft Authenticator? Now, recovering your account here uh, requires you to have some specific details. Now, just to give you some understanding here, your Authenticator app, Authenticator app here is actually connected to your Microsoft account. So as long as you have access to your Microsoft account, you can still recover your Authenticator app details. So in this case, first things first, get your new phone here, install the Authenticator app, go ahead and open that up. And from here, you wanna go and proceed with the sign in option. So in this case, you wanna go and provide your email address and click on next. Now the next page is going to say check Microsoft Authenticator. So in this case, it's going to show a number and you just need to confirm that you are seeing the number here. But then again, since we don't have access to our old phone here, we could do or use the two options you see at the very bottom of your screen. So in this case, first is you have the option to just use your password instead. So if you click on use your password instead, you could just basically enter the password for your Outlook account and basically sign in into account and get access to your details. Now, just in case, if you, uh, for example, you don't want to use your password, you could also choose the I don't have access to my Microsoft Authenticator app. Let's go and click on it. Now, in here, instead of entering a password, a verification code will be sent to your alternate email addresses that you've added to your Microsoft account. So if you do have access to those, you could just select your email address here and basically enter or verify the email address here and just get the code itself and you just need to enter it into your next screen here. So additionally, they might require you to do some additional steps here, like for example, providing the, uh, in this case, the code for your, or that will be sent to your alternate email address. Or in this case, if you don't have that, you can go and click on, I don't have any of this. So in this case, it's going to say, if you can access uh, any of these, you need to update your security info, which in this case, you need to go to the following link here that will, they will be providing you. Now, if you follow the link that was shown to you before when you're trying to log in, this is what you'll be seeing. So you need to enter your email address again and the password for that. And you need to verify yourself here, but there are going to be some ver uh, variations that you could do. So in this case, you go and click on, I can't use my Microsoft account here. And from here, you could go and click on, I don't have any of this. Now, in this case, it's going to say for your protection, replacing your security info takes 30 days so in this case in this case you need to wait for like for 30 days in order for you to re-access your account so if you're sure you just need to click on next here and from here it's going to say do you have any account recovery code so in this case if you have any recovery code that you were able to uh, save you could go and enter them in here so if you don't have one you could go and click on no here and in this case you could enter your alternate email address here so what security info would you like to add so in this case you could add like for al alternate email address other phone number so in this case just follow the on-screen steps you see here moving forward so that's for updating your information for your Microsoft account for your Microsoft Authenticator. But just in case, like for example, you've even forgotten your password here for Microsoft, well, in this case, you need to reset your password first before proceeding with the steps I've shown you before. Which in this case, you just need to go to Google here, just type in Microsoft Account Recovery, click on the Help with my Microsoft Account Recovery here, and it's going to show you different steps that you need to do here. So first is you need to have a working email, and also you need to get your information ready here. And uh, in here, you just need to click on account recovery form. So once you click on it, it's going to ask you to provide some information. So in this case, first, what Microsoft account are you trying to get back? So in this case, provide the email address of the Microsoft account that you're trying to recover. So where should we contact you? So you could go ahead and enter the contact email address that you want to use. So for example, like if you have a, a different email address, you can go ahead and provide that in here because they won't be able to contact you on your original email address. So provide your second email address here. Now from here, you need to very uh, confirm this. So you just need to enter your characters that you see here on your screen. Now from here, it will send you a code on your alternate email address here. So you just need to enter the code that you'll be getting from your second or, or your second email address here to verify that you are you. 
So in the next pages, they might ask you to provide additional details, ask a few uh, answer a few questions, but just follow the on-screen steps so you see there and you should be able to recover your account. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and square button and watch our next video.